I'm Ariel. I'm going to teach you how to make a snowflake out of paper. First, you need six pieces of paper. Then, you need scissors, stapler, and tape. So let's start. First, you fold it like this, so it has a layer and then a knot like this, so it ends up like this. Then, you take the scissors and cut off the strip here. So it ends up like this. And then you fold it again here, a corner to another corner. So it ends up like this. Then you take your scissors again. See the longest side here? You're gonna put it like this and cut lines like this. So it would go like this, this, and keep cutting it until it gets here. And then cut another line here. And then cut another line like this. So there's just, you just cut three strips. And then you unfold it. Fold it and make sure it ends up like this. And then go like this, take the tape, take the tape, and put the tape here tape aside here and then tape it to the other one like this here so it ends up like this then you flip it over and take another piece of tape and and put the tape here like this and then it ends up like this. So, so there's one here and one here. And then you flip it over again. And then take a piece of tape and tape it together. Take, tape these together again. And then flip it over again. And tape these together so make sure you end up with this and then you put this to the side and then make one again you fold it like this again again and then you cut this strip off again and then keep doing that so you do that to all six pieces of paper and then you fold it again. You cut it on the longest side. Again, you go to here. Go to here. And go to here, just like the other one just three strips, cut it three times. So, and then you unfold it again, 
make sure it lands up, ends up like this again. And then tape it. Tape it again. Like this. Tape it here. So it ends up like this again. Kind of like a butter, kind of like a bird. And then you flip it over. Tape these things together again. You flip it over, just so it looks like this on the back. And then you tape these together again. And then you flip it over. Make sure you flip it over or it won't end up like this. Then tape these together again. Flip it over. You don't need so big pieces of tape, but if you want to, you can get big pieces of tape. And then you end up with this again. And then you need six of these. So the next thing you do is you take two of them and then this is a part of the stapler take two then you take this and you see the ends here you put them together like this like this then you staple them together that you and then you have this, two of them stapled together. Then you take another two, and then do the same thing. Put the ends together, the ends together, and then staple them again. And then it looks like this again. And then you take the last two, Put, do the same thing, put the ends together, and then staple them together. Then you have all three of these stapled together. together. Come on. Well, if you do it right, it would end up like this. So, if you're watching it, I hope you followed me and made it right. Bye.